friends, I'm going to give you my gratitude for joining me today for this very powerful session that's being done in an, under the new moon in a group setting. So I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and you're going to look slightly up. So keeping your eyes closed, keeping your head still, you're only going to move your eyes like you're looking at in between your eyebrows. So this is going to put your brain in a theta brainwave state. So it's going to allow you to go deeper into your meditation. Okay? So we're going to take we're going to envision that the sun is above our heads. Okay? And we're going to take a deep breath, inhaling golden light coming from the sun above, inhaling hold and exhale taking a deep belly breath in of golden light hold and gently exhale one more time breathing in and gently exhale good so throughout this meditation I'm going to invite you to follow my voice and if I say something that doesn't make you comfortable then just return to your breath okay the most important thing is that you're comfortable and in order to make sure that you're comfortable, we're going to place ourselves inside of a beautiful golden pyramid. So I want you to visualize that you are sitting inside of a gorgeous golden pyramid. So pyramids are incredible tools that are the Egyptians, the Mayans, the Chinese, the Romanians, the most powerful civilizations use these tools because they channel energy. Okay, so we're going to channel energy into your body. And as you're creating your golden pyramid, you're going to set the intention that only the highest vibrations for your highest good will come in through this pyramid. Only vibrations that serve your highest good will allow to become to come in through this pyramid. Okay? And the reason why we make it a gold pyramid is because gold is a symbol of power. And we are returning back to our power. Very good. And please know that you will always be protected. So I want you to pay attention to any sensations on your body. Maybe you feel the wind blowing against you. And if you feel it, feel that it's blowing away all remaining tension, all stress, all worries from you. And it's gently massaging you. And we're gonna give our gratitude to the wind or to the breath if you're listening to the recording. Giving gratitude for this beautiful element, air. For giving us vitality because without the breath there would be no life and you're going to give gratitude to the moon for empowering you to co-create with her the life of your dreams and for this meditation we're going to manifest love courage and leadership into our lives because we are creating our own realities and we're doing it with the help of the universe and tonight specifically for this meditation we're co-creating with the moon because when the moon is so powerful right think about what happens when it's full moon the ocean waves rise right she's so powerful she does that and your body is 70 percent water so think about what she's doing to you. And lastly, I'm going to invite you to give gratitude to yourself. So I want you to focus on your heart right now and just feel that gratitude for yourself. For taking the time and the effort 
to be here doing this powerful healing work because you're not only healing yourself but you're healing me you're healing all the people present at this meditation and listening to this recording and you're healing your ancestors and your children and your great grandchildren right because we're going to be healing our dna which crosses all boundaries of space and time so just feel that gratitude in your heart for yourself so this meditation is going to start off with cleansing we're going to cleanse all the stress all the fear all the tension all the frustration all the doubt then we're going to upgrade our dna our light bodies and we're going to end with manifesting so i want you to envision that the sun is above your head and it's attached from a string to the top of your head and it's gently pulling you up just the right amount so that your spine is perfectly stacked so that the energy can flow effortlessly through and remember to keep your head still and keep your eyes closed and look slightly up so you can go deeper into your subconscious mind and program your mind to automatically heal your body and automatically do the right things to create more love, courage, and leadership in your life. And I'm gonna invite you to put your tongue at the roof of your mouth. This is going to help you create more saliva in your body so that you have more water so that the healing can happen much quicker. So we take a deep breath in of gold light coming from the sun and it's passing down through your hair follicles and going down into your forehead, releasing all the tension in your head, all the confusion is gently being burned by the sun. And the reason why we work with the sun is because the sun creates photosynthesis in plants and that creates air. And without air, there's no life. So the sun is the source of life. And the sun is gonna this golden light from the sun is gonna burn all your tension and it's gonna revitalize your cells. So take a deep breath in of golden light, sending it into the brain, burning all the confusion, all the tension, all the self-doubt, all the criticism, all the negative self-talk. Releasing all tension in the mind burning away all your fears burning away all your doubts all your worries gently breathing in golden light sending it into the cheeks into the eyes burning away any diseases in the eyes repairing the corneas the optic nerves the rods and cones of the eyes are returning back to their perfect state because your body has a power to heal itself. And as you're sending the golden light to every cell, every neuron, every bone, every organ in your body, you are tapping into your body's power to heal itself. And you are upgrading your DNA and your cells back to their perfect state because your body knows exactly what it needs to do. Breathing in golden light, sending it into the mouth, the teeth, the gums, the tongue, the tonsils. Releasing any tension in the mouth, in the throat. Maybe we haven't been saying what we want to say because we're afraid of what people will think. Just gently burn away all that doubt and that fear and that regret of not saying what you wanted to say. Breathing in golden light, sending it into the shoulders, releasing all the stress, all the tension in the shoulders. We put a lot of pressure on ourselves. Our families, our coworkers, our bosses, our kids put a lot of pressure on us. 
and we need to release that. We need to let that go in order to be better spouses, be better mothers, better friends, better workers. So I want you to burn away all that pressure that's stored in your shoulders. So burn it away with the golden light. And this is being done in a very gentle way. It's not painful. Breathing in golden light, sending it into the arms, into the elbows, into the forearms, into the wrists, the fingers, the nails. Releasing all tension, releasing all diseases. Diseases are being gently burned away by the sunlight. As we breathe in golden light coming from the top of our heads down into the chest. Is there something that you haven't been saying? Have you been keeping emotions, opinions, words in? Just release all that. Just burn it gently with a golden light and your chest will feel more light. You'll be able to breathe better. And as you take these deep breaths in, I want you to envision that your belly's a balloon. And as you're breathing in the golden light, your belly's expanding outwards like a balloon. Because this is gonna allow you to have more air in your body, more oxygen. And oxygen is the caffeine, the energy for the body to heal itself. Breathing in golden light, sending it down into the stomach. And it's gently burning away all diseases, all gut bacteria, any issues with your digestive system are gently being burned away and the wind is blowing all of these diseases away. We often hold emotions in our stomach area. So if you're having digestive issues, it's because you're holding other people's emotions or your own emotions here. So just let them go. You can do it by burning it gently with the golden light. And as you send the golden light into your intestines, into your stomach, all your cells are vibrating at their highest frequencies. And your stomach is going to absorb all nutrients and digest food effortlessly. And you're only going to eat food that nourishes you. And you're going to make healthy food choices effortlessly. Breathing in golden light, sending it down into the hips, releasing all the tension that you're storing in your hips. Maybe you haven't been being flexible with yourself and you're being too strict with yourself. Or maybe you're not being flexible with others. So just release that. Release all the grudges, all the regrets, all the anger that you have. Because it's only making you feel tighter, holding more disease in your body. So just let it go. Let the golden light wash it away. <laughs> Breathing in golden light. Sending it into the womb and into the sex organs. And releasing all shame, all guilt that's stored here. Maybe you feel guilty about what you said or what you did, or maybe you're shamed, you got embarrassed in front of your friends and family, just release it. It's, it's dragging you down, and it's making you sick. So just gently burn away all the shame and all the guilt that you have inside. And watch it evaporate with this gold light. 
breathing in golden light, sending it into the thighs, releasing all the tension in the thighs. Maybe you feel tired for walking through this journey of life with so many challenges. And once you burn this tension in your thighs, your journey is going to be much more enjoyable and effortless. As opportunities, people, ideas are going to effortlessly come into your mind and you're going to effortlessly have the right thoughts, the right actions, the right ideas. You're going to be at the right place in time to make things happen effortlessly in your life. Breathing in golden light. Sending it down into the knees. Releasing all the pain in the joints of the knees, all the tension in the knees. We often hold a lot of ancestral karma in the knees and we hold a lot of pressure that we've placed on ourselves, other people have placed on us in the knees. So just gently burn that away and send golden light to your knees. So you can have that strong foundation to keep walking and striving towards your goals. Without any pain, you're walking towards your goals with ease, with grace, with joy. Breathing in golden light, sending it down into the calves, into the shins, the ankles, the feet, the toes, the toenails. Burning away any fears about financial security, any fears about your worth, any fears about your safety and your stability in your life. Just gently burn them away. And once you've burned all those fears about finances and safety, you're gonna send golden light to your ankles and your feet to have that stability. And know that money will effortlessly come into your path because abundance is already yours. You're just blocking yourself from receiving it. Now I want you to take one more deep breath in and as you exhale, I want you to expand your aura, your energetic body, 360 degrees around you. And you're going to cleanse any energetic cords, any attachments, any negative energies from your aura. So just visualize that the sun is burning away any energetic cords that are not serving your highest good and all negative energies across space, time, and all dimensions. Now, as you take this final breath of golden light, you're gonna exhale air so that you have the light inside of you always. So we inhale golden light and we exhale air. And throughout the rest of today, throughout the rest of this week, in your sleep, your body is going to heal itself automatically. And your cells are gonna start to return back to their perfect state where there's no disease in your body and it's impossible for disease to exist in your beautiful healthy gorgeous body now I'm gonna invite you to place your hands on your heart And I want you to feel the pulsation on your hands. And I want you to sync up your breath to your heartbeat. And we're going to manifest more love into our lives. So I want you to, using this powerful, powerful tool that's inside of your chest, that there's nothing more powerful than your heart. It has so millions of neurons 
thousands of voltage hertz. That's why when you're about to die, the paramedics come and they pump your heart with electricity because it's the most important organ in the body. And it's your most important tool for you to create more love into your life and attract more love into your life. So I want you to visualize what an abundance of love looks like to you. Who are you going to be with? What are you going to be doing? Or maybe you're by yourself and you're just loving yourself so much and nourishing your body, your mind, and your spirit. Self-love is the foundation of all love. So I want you to send some love to yourself. So think about something incredible that you did that you are so happy with yourself about. And feel that emotion in your heart and in your body. And visualize that scene with all the colors, all the smells, all the sounds. And just, you know, admire yourself, fangirl yourself for how incredible you are. Because there is no one out there like you. There are over 7 billion people, but there is no one like you. And you are never meant to be like everyone else. You are never meant to be normal. Because you're meant to be this unique, beautiful person. So I want you to feel that emotion in your heart. And you're going to ask the moon. You're going to ask the universe. You're going to say thank you. So say this internally. Don't say it out loud. Say thank you for this abundance of self-love. Thank you for reminding me that I am enough. And we're going to say that three times because three is a very powerful number in alchemy. Thank you for reminding me that I am enough. Thank you for reminding me that I am enough. And thank you for allowing me to shine my light and my beauty in this world safely and effortlessly. Please empower me to continue doing this. This or something better. So be it and so it is. And I want you to visualize yourself, you know, shining your light and sharing your beauty with others. So visualize what that looks like tomorrow, this week, this whole month. Visualize one specific scene where you're just radiating your true authentic self with so much confidence and grace. And know that you will do this. You're already doing it because you're already perfect. You just have this illusion in your mind that you're not enough, but you are enough. And the reason why we say this or something better at the end of our manifestation is because our minds are so limited by the human experience that we don't know what God, source, the universe, spirit, whatever you believe in, wants to gift you. It's infinite. So that's why we open ourselves to receive more of that. So I want you to place your hands directly on top of your heart and feel the pulsation. And now we're gonna manifest more courage in our lives. 
I want you to think about one situation that you've been afraid of saying something or you've been afraid of making a decision or asking for something. And I want you to visualize as if you've already said that thing, you've already made that decision, you've already asked for that. And make it concrete. Visualize that specific scene. Don't worry, you don't need to know how you did it right now. You just need to see the end result. So the most important part is that you feel feel like it's already happened you already were courageous and you took that step and I want you to feel that joy that pride that you had for taking that step and having that courage so feel that in your body visualize what's happening around you Who's with you? What are you doing? What are you hearing? What are you seeing? And you're going to say this internally. You're going to say, thank you for and then fill up that statement with whatever that situation was for you. And you're gonna end it with this or something better. So be it, and so it is. And now, I want you to visualize yourself as a leader. As a leader in your family, amongst your friends. You being a leader in your life, in your career, in your community. And I want you to visualize what that means to you and how you're going to create that this month in the next three weeks how are you going to be more confident how are you going to speak with conviction with grace how are you going to be more charismatic visualize it as if it's already happening now and feel that Make a concrete picture with visuals and sounds and scents. You know, are you deciding to finally speak up? Are you deciding to finally make that decision? Are you deciding to finally step into your power? Maybe you're deciding to finally start that project or to start that business or to cut that person out of your life because that's leadership in your life and we're all leaders we're the CEOs of our lives and when we step into this role we start taking control of our lives and what is happening in our lives and what we're creating and attracting into our lives So I want you to visualize what you want to create in the next three weeks. How are you gonna be that leader? And feel it as if it's already happening right now.
And I'm going to invite you to repeat this internally. You're going to say, thank you. And then you can fill it with God, Source, Spirit, the Universe, whatever you believe in. You're going to say, thank you, blank, for empowering me with more confidence, grace, love, empowerment, and leadership. in all aspects of my life. This or something better. So be it and so it is. Now I'm gonna invite you to visualize as if it's your birthday right now and there's a delicious cake in front of you with three candles. And each of these three candles represents your three manifestations. So for your first candle of manifesting love, I want you to go back to that scene where you felt that love, that self-love that you're gonna create and manifest into your life in the next three weeks. So put that emotion in your body, put that visual in your mind. Once you feel that emotion, I want you to breathe in this emotion and you're going to exhale air to blow out that first candle. Very good. Now you're going to focus on the second candle, which is where you are going to effortlessly manifest more courage into your life. So return back to that visual of what that courage means to you and feel that emotion in your body. Feel that power, that conviction, that confidence in your body. Feel it in your heart. Have the visual in your mind. And once you have that, you're going to breathe in this emotion and you're going to exhale air to blow out that second candle. Now we're going to focus on the third candle. And I want you to return to the scene where you will be a leader in your life, in all aspects of your life. So return back to the scene, put that picture in your mind, put that emotion in your body and in your heart of you being more confident, more graceful, more loving, more joyful, more powerful. So feel that emotion in your heart and breathe in that emotion and exhale air to blow out that final candle. And congratulations for manifesting the life that you want and the life that you deserve. And know for the next few days, the next few weeks, you're going to effortlessly act in a way that is going to manifest everything that you just created. Situations, people, resources, opportunities, ideas are going to fall directly on your path. You don't have to even look for the answers or try. It's going to effortlessly fall in front of your feet because you are co-creating and you just programmed your subconscious mind to create all this and you're co-creating with the moon and the universe. So before we close our meditation, I want you to place your hands in front of you like you're holding a basketball. And I want you to send 
pink light directly from your heart into the earth that you're holding in between your hands. So just send the earth your love, your gratitude for the nourishing food that you ate today, for the clean air that you're breathing, for the clean water that you have. So send Mother Earth your love and set the intention that this love is going to heal the earth and it's going to heal all the seven plus billion people here. So the pink light is enveloping the earth in front of you and put that love in your heart space. Now I want you to visualize that you are the earth and you're going to inhale this pink light of love and you're going to exhale air so that this love can stay and be inside of the earth always and inside of you. And as we close down this meditation, I'm going to invite you to pay attention to your breath and you're going to start to wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes. Don't open your eyes yet. And know that you're going to effortlessly create everything that you just manifested. So whenever you're ready, you're going to slowly start to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers at your own pace, whenever you're ready. And whenever you're ready, you're going to rub your palms together to make heat. And whenever you feel the heat, you're going to place your hands on your eyes. And you, all of this heat is nourishing vitality healing energy for your body your mind and your spirit and know that when you open your eyes you're going to start a new chapter in your life where you're going to effortlessly create and attract more love courage and leadership in all aspects of your life Thank you so much for allowing me to join you today.